Welcome to another MorphLab video. Today we are going to talk about one of the coffin problems or as they are sometimes called killer problems. This one is a geometry problem from that list. Given a triangle ABC and using only a ruler and a compass, find a point K on AB and a point M on BC such that AK equals KM equals MC. In other words, we want to find a point on each side, so when you connect them together and to the base corners, the three red segments you see here have equal lengths. These kind of problems are called coffin or killer problems because they were carefully designed to have simple solutions, but the solutions were almost impossible to find. Apparently, they were given to Jewish students in the 70s to prevent them from entering into the Moscow State University. So the students had no chance to object why they were failing the test because schools could simply say, hey, as you can see, the solution is really easy. But in fact, it was very hard. Anyway, you can find a complete list of these problems on Tanya Khovanova's webpage. I'll put a link down below. Pause the video if you want to give it a try and when you are ready, keep watching. Okay. Let's say you have this triangle ABC, but just looking at it and knowing that you need three equal segments, do you think those segments could be very short? Let's say like this. Of course not. Because, yes, you can have short length on the two sides, but the one in the middle need to be able to bridge to the other side. So there is a minimum length for them and they cannot be shorter than that. Those who are a bit advanced probably know what this relates to. Point A and line BC define a parabola. No, I don't want to scare you, we're not gonna use any of that here. But this parabola shows the points that have equal distance from point A and line BC. And if you are inside this parabola, meaning if the end of the first segment falls inside this region here, you cannot reach to the other side because the distance to the line on the other side is going to be longer than the distance you have from point A. But if you're outside the parabola, let's say here, then you can reach to the other line with at least the same distance from point A. Okay, going back to the original figure, now, can the segments be very long? Let's say like this. Again, you can see that there is a problem. The first segment is okay, the second one is also possible, but then makes it impossible for the last one because there is not enough room left for the third one with the same length. So it seems that there is only a certain range for the location of these two points. And as you can see, it's not an easy problem to solve. One way to solve a problem like this is to see if we can change it to a simpler case, a spatial case. For example, let's say we have an isosceles triangle. Instead of ABC, let's say we have a triangle which is symmetric and has two equal sides like this. Of course, in this case, because it's symmetric, the segment in the middle is going to be parallel to the base. And the solution is going to be something like this. Now let's draw some lines and some angles. Because these two lines are parallel, these two angles are the same. And because these two segments have the same length, this triangle also has two equal angles. That means all the three angles shown here are the same. So the line coming from the corner is the angle bisector. So to solve the problem, you just need to draw the angle bisector from one of the corners until you hit the other side and then draw a line parallel to the base. Easy peasy. Does that mean we can do this for the general case as well? Maybe. If we draw the angle bisector for each corner, even in the general case, we can have the solution. Let's see. 
going back to original triangle and let's also make it a bit more different from an isosceles triangle something like this now we draw the angle bisectors and we connect the two points uh, we found from the side and that should be our solution but is it correct it doesn't seem like it's the correct solution because obviously the segment on the right is much longer than the other two segments in fact the correct solution is something like this so it seems we have a problem solution of the special case is not good for the general case but wait we have one more tool in our toolbox is it possible to draw this picture in a smaller scale what we mean by this is is it possible to draw the red region having the same angle as shown here but in a smaller scale something like this as you see the angles are the same the three lengths are also equal the only problem is that this point should be on this side but it's not but if we can draw this smaller version we can then scale it up and get the answer we are looking for and it turns out that yes it is possible we can choose any length you want for the first segment let's say like this we then use the same length and draw another segment on the right side we now draw a circle which has the same radius as the length of these segments centered at the end of the first segment obviously the end of the second segment is somewhere on this circle we now move the segment on the right while keeping the same angle until it touches this circle and that is where the end of the second segment is and now you can draw the middle segment as well now you have a shape that has the same angle as the answer you are looking for and has equal length for all its segments it's just smaller and the rest is easy just connect the two points to make a line which intersects the triangle at point m then you just draw a line parallel to the second segment and you have point k And all this can be done using only a ruler and a compass. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the channel and join us again for other interesting topics. Thank you.